What's the deal, YouTube? It's Holy One, and I'm going to be showing you how to fix Yakuza Zero's frame rate stutter, audio glitches, and weird frame rate spikes in the cutscenes. So, um, I've had frame rate stutters in the game for about nine hours now. It'll spike from like I was getting at like 90 frames per second, sometimes down to 40. And by doing this trick, my frame rate immediately went up to 169 frames per second, or even 200, because I'm running a GTX 1080 Ti. So just go to NVIDIA control panel for AMD users. You just go to the AMD settings. Um, change your Fizz X from auto select or CPU to your GPU and then hit apply. Most of it's set to auto select and this game when auto select is selected the game will force itself to rely on your CPU and that's what will cause frame rate stutters because this game is very CPU dependent. So once you've done that you can just launch the game and for me, that completely fixed my issue, and I've noticed people are having the same issues as me. So, right now I have my frame rate unlocked, so we can see the maximum performance. I won't be running it at 4K because I can still get 100 FPS on that as well, but... So we're just gonna launch the game up, and you guys can see my settings. I got it all pumped at my refresh rate. All settings are turned up. Super sampling is useless, so we'll keep that off. So I'm just going to continue my save, and you guys can see my performance. <clears throat> so as you guys can see, my frame rate in the corner now went way up from 40 to the upper 140, 130, 150. And definitely fixed that frame rate stutter I was having earlier. So we'll get into some gameplay and see how it performs under some load. Another tech scam. <sighs> All right, let's fight some thugs, tax collectors. All right, now we're getting 180. The frame rate's well above the 40 I was getting earlier. Let's get into some combat. Oh, there we go. Now we're at 200 frames per second, boys. Alright. And as you can see, the this is the most demanding area. When you're in the city at nighttime, this will definitely strain your system. But as you can see, my frame rates have yet to drop below 100. Ooh, it dropped a little there, but that's usually... And as you can see, the cutscenes definitely hit the uh, frame rate a little bit, down to like 113. But that was due to people complaining about the cutscene glitch. But as long as your game is relying on your GPU and not your CPU, you'll be good to go. And usually if you select auto-select, it forces this game to run on the CPU. So, uh, the game's running good now, guys. As you can see, it's running way over 240. This is your boy, Holy One. Out!